Hello guys and welcome to a new Let's Play on Ultratech. My name is Give the Grey and welcome to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gaze to Infinity. This is episode number one. Meaning that of course this is going to be like a little introductory video and for once I'm giving you guys some of the control over the game. So before I go right into it I just want to say that if you are hyped for this new Let's Play and what's to come for most uploads during the week then Make sure you go ahead and hit that like button if you are hyped for this new project that I'm doing. Make sure you also hit that subscribe button as well for all the latest Ultra Tech content from this Let's Play. Um, and to, I don't know if I'm really going to be doing questions of the videos throughout this playthrough, I guess you can say. I don't really know. I'll decide anyway. If, if you don't see a question of the day or something, then you won't have to answer it. But... Um, I'm on Twitter, you guys, so my Twitter link is in the description, so if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, you can do, and I don't really want to start that whole thing again, because music is distracting, so, yeah, my Twitter link is in the description, so if you guys want to hit me up on Twitter, or just see, like, what I get up to throughout the day, you can do, and, yes, my friend code is in the description as well, you guys, so if you want to battle with me on Pokemon Omega Ruby or for Sapphire, most of the time I normally say X and Y, but... I really don't have any more Pokemon in X and Y just because I transferred it all via Pokebank to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So if you want to battle with me then sometime, you can leave your friend codes in the comment section below. Oh, I know what our question of the day will be. There will be a question of the day for this episode in particular. I don't know about the rest, but there's a specific question of the day, which if you've checked out the title already, you probably already know what it is. But without further ado... Enough of me rambling. Let's delve into this a pretty am amazing game, in my opinion. I mean, just look at that. Look at that. Just it looks so good. I mean, if you guys already played most of the Mystery Dungeon games, then you'll know that most of the action takes place on the bottom screen. So we can't really do that because we can only record the top screen and what have you. But anyway. This is the dream world, as they call it. Ugh. 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 Where? Where? Where am I? Is this a dream? Am I? Am I dreaming? Oh, what was that? I'm sure of it. That was definitely a voice. Someone is calling to me. You, you can now, you who can now hear my voice, might you be a human? If you are, then please listen to my plea. I want you to save the Pokemon world. We need your help. Okay, so it's a little moon and beat, and looks like it's being chased by a high dragon. That's scary. What? What was that just now? What could it mean? Those Pokemon. And there's a little figure. And now there's something fuzzy. Huh? Wait, that blurry reflection. Could that be me? <gasps> what now? My reflection. It wavered and then wavered. I think that's not where it is. And then shifted. Almost as if I changed somehow. Okay, what do I look like? So, as you guys know, in the Mystery Dungeon series, if you don't know from, um, if you don't know what Mystery Dungeon is, it's pretty much a spin-off of the um, Pokemon. Was yeah, it's, it's a spin-off game, and it it it's not related to any of the core games at all. Where pretty much you're a trainer and you have to catch Pokemon and use them to accomplish a certain objective. Most of the time, being a champion. But it makes you actually play as a Pokemon, which is why we get the choices here of being a Pokemon here. Now, as you guys know, well, if you don't know, um, they had some Mystery Dungeon games go out already. They had, I think the originals were Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team. Then it was Explosive Time Darkness, and then a year later or something, I think Sky. That's kind of like the expansion of Time and Darkness, you know, a bit more in-depth storyline. Like with Ruby and Sapphire and then there was Emerald. Emerald was more in depth than Ruby and Sapphire. But now we've got this. We've got Gates to Infinity which 
looks to be revolving around most of the you know you know the Pokemon that was introduced in Generation Five because we've got Tepic, we've got Oshawott, we've got Axew, who's not really more a starter Pokemon because Snivy's because you got your Grass type, you got your Water type, and then you got your Fire type, and then of course got the classic Pikachu. So I don't know what they were really doing here with Axew, but I really like Axew, and I think I'm gonna go with him. So you look like Axew? Yes, I do. So, I'm going to be picking myself, but you guys already know, probably already know I'm going with this. Either way, I I look like, I look like Axew. Now, as you guys know, I already do, um, if you don't know who I am, I should really have introduced from the start. My name is Give the Great, I like to do Pokemon here on the channel. There is another um, uploader that uploads to Ultra Tech. His name is My Sirens, he mainly does Xbox content from here and there and what have you. He uploads some of the t sometimes, not most of the time like I normally do on this channel, but, you know, he's probably got other things going on, and then I have just inside, in staying inside doors, playing games and uploading them to YouTube. But yeah, so you can go and check out his content as well, but I'm Get the Great, I do like to play Pokemon games, sometimes I do like to swear when something really annoys me in the games, like grinds my gears as Peter Griffin would say, but... I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> but we finally got this game, you guys. As you guys know, there was kind of an information video that went up on Wednesday. Just kind of like a quick little update video I put together, like saying why there was some sort of um, like delay with the with this actual playthrough. But it's alright because that gives us more you guys more of a chance, if you know what I mean. I I knew it. I really did turn into action. And I do like to do voices in most of my Let's Plays as well. That's where I was going with my trainer for. I do like to do some voices in my Let's Plays because, you know, doing different voices kind of gives a bit of variety to everyone. Huh? What's that like? I don't know why, but I feel as if that voice calling for help. I feel like it came from there. Didn't that voice say something about saving the Pokemon world? What the hell? Oh heavens! We're being teleported! Ah! Oh no, we're falling out of the sky! No! Quick, deploy your parachute! We need to deploy your parachute, otherwise you're gonna hit the ground and hard. And that's gonna hurt. Unless of course you land in the water, but that's pretty unlikely. <coughs> Ooh, everything's spinning. Can't see. Hey, hey, are you okay? Come on, wake up. Come on. Someone's calling to me. But who could it, who could be? Ooh, hello. Who's this? Ah, I can almost make out a figure. Is that... So, guys, here is where you come in. I want you to pick a partner for me. We can choose Tepig... Oshawa, Snivy, and Pikachu. So those are the only four we can pick because, well, we picked, um, there was five available Pokemon just before, but we picked Axew, so obviously we can't have two of the same Pokemon, so the remainders of what are left can be picked as, as a partner. So yeah, what I want you guys to do for me is pick out a partner in the comment section down below. That will be the question of the day that will be above this video. But yeah. So, if, I'm just going to throw this out there, you better, as soon as you watch this video, you better leave a comment, otherwise, because, you know, this decision will be reflected on throughout the whole entire Let's Play. So, you know, if you want your say in something, you better do it now, because we need a partner for this. So, yeah, leave your partner suggestions down below, you like, say, leave... The hashtag question of the day, because, or QOTD, like it says above the video there. But, um, so that I know that it relates to the question of the day, and then leave your suggestions. So, for example, hashtag QOTD Snivy, hashtag QOTD Pikachu. Yeah, it's that simple. So, guys, this has been the first episode of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explosive Time. No, no, what the hell? 
it's not explosive time. It's gates to infinity. I've been I've been waiting for this game so long, you guys. I know you can't forgive me for that making that mistake, but I'm hyped. I can't wait to start this let's play, but I can't do it until you guys give me some feedback and then I record it on the day. Because I actually do want to record it on the day so I can upload it later and what have you. Oh my god, so I have to wait all weekend before I can play this game as well. It really does grind my gears a little bit because, you know, there's nothing I can do in between. Like, I can't even explore the region. This is literally all new to me. So, with that knowledge, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Remember to pick a partner for me. We have Tepic, we have Oshawa, we have Sniper, we have Pikachu. Leave the, your comment with the hashtag... QOTD meaning question of the day. Question of the day is pick a partner for me. Not necessarily a question, but you know it's easy. So, if you are hyped for this new let's play to come, make sure you smash the hell out of the like button down below for us. Make sure you also subscribe to Ultisex so you don't miss out on any parts of this let's play. And to keep up to date with all latest Ultisex content. Answer the question of the day being which partner of Pokemon do you want to see? And leave your suggestions in the comment section down below. My Twitter, follow me on Twitter, link is in the description. And add my friend code up so you can battle or train with me sometime on Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to get started, you guys. But you guys are amazing. I've been Gib the Great. This is me, signing off.